far as development goes for Bowser. What I like to see? What do you mean? Uh, development wise, like uh, buffs, like nerfs, the, oh, tweaks, or just like meta. What do you What do you think isn't being employed as I don't, much? I don't think Bowser needs any changes. Um, I think he's pretty good as, as is. Uh, but anyway, we got a match going on. Jump Steady versus Widget. Yeah, Jump Steady's got that Palutena and ZSS. I think this is losers. Is this to get fifth? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Losers. I don't even know the round. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, winner gets fourth place mm. or gets to play for fourth or third. You probably get like a dollar or something. <laughs> no, like, think thanks for coming. Anyway, um, Jump Steady starting off with a couple nares, mm. getting like the, the easy bread and butters in the beginning. Yeah, and, and Game & Watch is a character that I find incredibly interesting. Uh, I don't think he's as bad as people, you know, want to say. <laughs> Zero. Oh yeah, definitely. Even though I, I love Zero. Not. Yeah. No, because he has such crazy juggle potential. It's just getting in against a character like Palutena. Yeah, that's gonna, be, that's gonna be a challenge. But when you parry somebody like that in their face, yeah, you get a you get a nice little forward smash. Nice forward smash, almost killing too. Yeah, almost. And he didn't even get the sweet spot of it. Yeah, um, yeah. A lot of people. There's actually a couple more gaming watches that I I remember in Smash Four in SoCal. Mm. Um, I think it is. He did get changed a little bit, but I do I do feel he got changed for the better. I do too. Yeah, his up air is very nice now. I like it. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, that was tricky. I wouldn't have even thought about that. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah, he's got a good directional air dodge apparently. So. Yeah, I just saw. Whoa. And that's a good option too. Up B. Wow. I mean, I know up B is crazy, but I didn't think he was gonna do it just like that. But you know, he was probably really confident about making it back on stage. So yeah. Yeah. Why not? He's got a nice drift too, so it's he's got no problem doing it. Yeah, the thing about it is fair, however, it's just like, it's a it's a freaking bomb, and That's you expect great. it to kill earlier than it does, but it just, it, it does not kill very early. Ooh, yeah. in the back air, yeah, safe back air. Yeah, jump steady, evening it up, two socks, two stock. Nice nair. Yeah, I mean, this is the juggle game that I'm talking about. He almost put, uh, he almost put jump steady into this weird tech situation, or at least into a juggle situation. Yeah, almost up put air. him up, up there, and once, once you're above Game Watch, you're gonna get juggled for a bit. Mm. Same thing goes for Palutena. Her up air is literally one of the best moves to counteract any other like uh, recovery options. Even when people were saying she was crap in four, she was still it still was one of the best up airs in the game. Yeah, definitely. So she definitely has that. Definitely more busted now. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Ooh, okay, so this so Widget's the first, because I've seen a lot of Game & Watches around here, like Paper, uh, Twerk Master, who I don't see as much anymore. But yeah. uh, Widget's the first that I've seen to use up B to just kill off stage like that. To kill off stage, yeah, it's definitely something very, it's a very aggressive option. Yeah, very aggressive. Okay, uh, pretty neutral. As of right now, it, it tastes pretty even considering uh, Game & Watch's weight. I don't know about back throw there. I mean, like positionally, yeah, that was a good idea. Um, actually, no, I'm not even gonna really argue it because it seems like it's such a strong kill throw anyway. Yeah, you know, you're probably not gonna stale it against a character. It's getting stale, but a character like Game and Watch, like a paperweight, yeah, yeah, super paperweight, much. yeah, exactly. Okay, it's just like you can really, really spam that back air and dash attack. Yeah, dash attack. It's, those are very safe. The shield definitely gives you a couple. Is it invincibility or is it a uh, you know what it's called? I it's believe it's friends? intangibility. Intangibility, okay. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Because I, I don't think anything can really just go through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, jump steady. Pretty much evening. Oh. Wow. Now, I, I have a question. All right. Um, well, actually, I think I just answered it in my head. Because I was thinking, if you're a light character and you are taking damage, it probably doesn't mean much to your shield, right? Like, um, no, nah, I, I think damage is just damage regardless of how, how, how much you weigh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, either way, you're gonna take the percent. And what do you mean? What do you mean by shield, though? What are you talking Cause about? Because I was thinking, because I was looking at uh, Game and Watch taking those hits, and like his shield seemed to go down really quickly. And I was thinking, is it because he's a lightweight? But oh I, no, I don't think it works. No, like I, I think just Palutena having some heavy hit, heavy uh, multiple hitboxes. Yeah, because that nair, that you do feel every single one of those, uh, one of the staff like swinging around. You feel every single one of those hits. You do, and it's a good cross-up tool too. Yeah. So even, it's another even game, yeah. Last stock. Uh, oh, that jab is pretty good, though. Yeah. You know, uh, he almost got another uh, spot dodge read there. Yeah, he almost got that. Barry! Oh, he's narrowly avoiding, a, yeah. He's looking for a lot of those down smashes. I'm pretty sure Jumpstead is ready for those now. 
oh. like three in those moments. That was a really risky landing from Widget. It looks like he's still paying the price, yeah. but uh, Jump Steady messed up with that forward smash. Yeah, going for some hard reads that he's not getting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Widget. Wow. wow, that was quick. Not even a, a kill cam or anything. It was just like, oh, you're dead now. Yeah. <laughs> nice, strong back here mm. to confirm the kill. Yeah. Jump Steady taking game one. Do you, has he ever played a game and watch? Have you ever seen him play a game and watch? Have I ever seen Jump Steady play against the Game & Watch? Yeah. Um, probably not, but we have a good number of Game & Watches. We also have uh, Yoshi Freak. Uh, we, we got a good number of them here, so yeah. if he hasn't, he's going to have to. He's going to have to. He's yeah. going to need to learn it. Yeah, I think Paper is actually not coming out of any more tournaments because he uh, I think he has night school or he's going back to school or something like that. Uh, I love Paper's play. Like, Paper is actually one of my favorite uh, Game & Watches to play. So if he is around, if he's in the chat, what's going on, Paper? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see him out. Anyway, game two, final destination. Oh. I guess they both like pretty flat stages, no platforms. Yeah, this was Widget's pick. It's probably because he doesn't want to get like laddered because yeah. of Nair and things like That's that. Uh, he's got to be mindful with the way that he's returning back to the uh, stage. Yeah, Nair's a really good ledge cover option. You just kind of like just spam it, uh, like jump away with it, and you can you're pretty safe with it too. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how safe it is when he lands with it. Like if you can just short hop and be okay. It seems like you could. I know it's definitely not that safe. That it's, was it, it's it's not like uh, like Fox Nair safe. Yeah, but it is. Uh, oh, good it's grab. Into the nair. Nice! <laughs> that was so clean. Up air doesn't kill off the top anymore. Okay. Yeah. It almost looked like he was trying to go for the up B hit, and then he got the up air hit. He's like, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it for sure. Do you see how uh, when uh, when you, when Widget throws him, you see the little uh, Pelotena like, icon? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. I love that. I love that. I just noticed that. Oh. Going for the onstage recovery, trying to mix it up. Yeah, going for that tech chase. That was really nice. <laughs> he crossed up with the forward air. That's yeah, so strange. dropped the bomb and then he started uh, pressuring his shield. I, I think he was trying to shield poke there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he was. I've definitely never seen that from a Game & Watch, but that seems like a very good option. Yeah, that was really interesting. I, I've never really seen it like that before. Ah, uh, not quite an anti-air. Yeah. That down smash would have confirmed to a fair. Or a forward smash for sure, too. Mm -hmm. Nair, Nair train. Oh, that's yeah, just, 25. Just two. Yeah. Heavy percent though, 25 is not bad. Yeah, and then he took the magnifying glass too. <laughs> yeah, that almost did too. Okay, uh, Widget just seems to be very patient. Yeah, like when he keeps running towards Jump City like that, like he always seems to be getting caught. Yeah, he's trying to catch Jump City coming in at him, but Jump City's been playing pretty passive. You see how he's like tank, uh, jumping backwards and then poking with like forward air and there. Yeah, I think it would help Widget to start baiting Jump City a bit more because Jump City does have aggressive movement. Yeah. Like he likes jumping towards his opponents. Yeah, and it's a lot of jumps, so I mean, I think Widget just needs to cover jumps. Yeah, exactly. And you got the forward air that you, you can basically just like throw it out and spam it as much as you exactly. like. Yeah, but I, I definitely think some more baiting would help. Yeah. Oh, mm, I think that was a miss input pivot grab. Yeah, yo, don't you love when you do that though? Especially <laughs> as a Bowser player. <laughs> Happens oh. once in a while. Oh, I believe and it. And it uh, costs you a good amount of percent. I believe it. You're juggle food. Yeah. Oh, nice. That Doesn't was really go good. for the back here there. Yeah. I think that's maybe what he wanted, but he got the fair. Yeah. You can always chalk it up to I wanted to keep it fresh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, can Jump City take the stock without taking too much percent? Uh, he's already taken quite a bit. Palatine is about a middleweight, as far as I know. Yeah, he's getting trapped. Yeah. Wow, ah. he could have just held that a little longer. Hmm. I wonder why Widget, I mean, you get to bury people, but I wonder why he likes using that down smash so much. I mean, you do have, I believe you still have invulnerability frames on your uh, up smash, even though it got drastically reduced. Yeah, up smash definitely is a good option for uh, for, for a Game & Watch. Yeah. Definitely because it, uh, Makes you pretty much invulnerable to any hit that would normally kill you at that at your paperweight percent. Yeah. Well, okay, that was a really risky nair, but he made it work. Yeah. Got he did the oh the down tilt almost almost. And that's it. That's wow. Dead. That's super dead. That down tilt is so strong. Wow. Sends you off so far, and it just sends you down downward at a nasty nasty angle. Yeah, that was really good. I you know I, I gotta say uh, I think that down tilt is still pretty good, but I do miss that crazy super win box that it had. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I miss his, his his win boxes were a lot more exaggerated than before. I don't miss win boxes now. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Just, or at least from, from a game of watch.
All right, so is that 2-0? Oh? No, it's 1-1, one one, I believe. 1-1? One one? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Okay. That was a good adaptation from Widget. Yeah. Uh, I saw a lot more. I think I felt like I saw a lot more down smashes. Um, a couple more juggles in the air, nair to up airs. Um, That's kind of his, his bread and butter, meat and potatoes. Yep. Ooh, the dash attack. That does a nice little 12%. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty much pretty good percent for dash attack. I like the reach that it has. It, it, it goes quite far. Like if you're able to instant dash attack with uh, Game and Watch, and it has those long active frames too. So yeah. it's a really good thing to two frame with. I think it's just his big nose <laughs> that drags along the floor. True that. Uh, not quite spacing that up here entirely correctly, but he has another chance. Yeah, jump steady, getting down pretty safely. Jump steady, getting down. That sounds like an '80s rap album. <laughs> All right, let's see how he can edge guard. Trying to call out a jump. Doesn't get it. Okay. Another, another down smash. Yeah. This time not varying. Yeah. Oh, the cross-up again. It's so weird when you think of a cross-up that he's actually technically doing in front of him. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah. I, I really like it. He drops it, then drifts back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> jump said he's just standing, looking away from him. Oh, that drift. Okay, that was... that was Man, the cross-ups are really cool from this uh, from this widget guy. Ah, until he gets forward wow. air. fair killing. Mm. That's an interesting kill option, I thought. Most people just go for back air. Yeah. I know... Uh, oh, he got the... Uh, well, he got it there. Yeah, there we Even go. Even stocks, 2-2. Mm. Two, two. I know uh, Pelotinas like to learn the jump cancel bear. That's a good way to just make uh, the backer come out just a little quicker than normal turnaround backer. Yeah. Oh, you, you mean uh, the attack cancel? Yeah, that's a, what did I say? Jump cancel? Yeah, attack cancel back. Either way, it's yeah, something like that. See, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, that was a good nair, too. Yeah, nair covering the roll. It sent him in the perfect trajectory, too. Exactly. Didn't send him backwards. Put him back off stage, yeah. Yeah. And I, I like the thing, that, the thing I like about a Palutena's nair is that around these percentages, like in the neutral, and on a stage like this, it puts you into these weird tech chase situations where uh, Palutena just gets like more nairs or up airs on you. Nair really works well into itself. Yeah. Nair train. That's exactly what it is. Uh, the roll. Okay, okay. I was questioning that roll from Jump Steady. Oh, trying to go up, trying to read the roll out. Jump Steady not having it, not giving it to him. Uh, missing that nair. Yeah, the whip punish is real. Yeah, Jump said he's got a good percent lead here. He just honestly just got to get the. Yeah, there were there were some mobility issues there. I think I saw Dump Steady burn his double jump. Ooh, oh. yeah. Back to back. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was saying Jump Steady has a good lead and <laughs> down smash barry to forward smash. Yeah, the commentator curse. Yeah. I don't think that's ever gonna go away. Nice up air. Okay, trying to get the down air and it's just not working. Wow, the down air actually did trade with him that time. Yeah. I, I don't think it was a good trade for Widget, but he did get back into the neutral. Yeah. Uh, Looking for more down smashes at this percent. I don't know if it's really worth it. Yeah. I think it's pretty a little too committal. Yeah, I think so too. And I, as far as I know, it's not as fast as Smash. Either way, it's still working. Yeah. He's made it this far. Really makes you wonder. Like you see other players doing something, it's like how come, how come they're able to get away with this? Yeah. Okay. So and it's really hard to to get jump steady or any game and watch when they're recovering. Oh, to, uh, to edge guard them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I was thinking earlier, why, why why doesn't jump steady just run off and nair like he would normally do against other characters? Mm. But it's probably because that up upy has that hitbox. He hits you and uh, oh, dude, super whiff punish, not killing the oh no 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 way. That's a dead palu. That was a buffered air dodge. Oh, dude. trying to tech the wall, just didn't get it. Oh, just sent into the trash can. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Oh yeah, that game was just a little stolen there. Yeah. Yeah, but apparently without well, little not stolen, but definitely could have been. Could have gone either way. That could have that could have gone either way. Yeah, I'm I pretty just sure he's gonna kick himself.